If you have your Bible, let me go ahead and invite you to turn to Matthew 5. That's where we're going to be, Matthew 5, 27. And I want to tell you where we're going. The passage that we're looking at today, Jesus talks about sex and sexual desire. And so some of you, you know, maybe you have your your kids watching with you. You're here in the room or you're online. I want to let you know that's the subject And we tried to give you a little heads up in the weekly email before you got here, but it's very possible that you didn't read that, and and I just want to let you know that's where we're going. And I also know that we have guests here today, and for all of those people, they're probably thinking, well, I wish I would have picked a different Sunday to come. And I would just tell you, in God's providence, you're here, and I'm so glad that you're here, and I'm really looking forward to what... God has for us today. Now, why is sexuality difficult to talk about? Because when I even introduce it, and I say that's what the text is about, there are many people, my guess is, that that immediately felt some level of discomfort. Why is that? Well, one reason is we just don't talk about it that often. We are constantly exposed to sexual images and sexual content in our culture today, but we just don't talk about it. Some families never talk about it. Another reason why this is uncomfortable is because this topic is a source of great grief and shame for many people. Some people listening today, some of the deepest wounds that you've experienced are connected to this whole subject of sexuality. Another reason why this is hard to talk about is the Bible's teaching on this area is so radically countercultural to our cultural moment that we're in. And this passage in particular that we're going to look at in Matthew 5, it's, it's even more difficult because Jesus addresses this topic in a way that makes pretty much all of us culpable. Very few of us will get out of here unscathed today. But what I want you to hear today is that Jesus, through this teaching we're going to look at, he's not wanting to leave us broken down on the side of the road. He's actually wanting to heal us and to help us thrive. And it may not feel like that, but that's what Jesus is after like a surgeon who's cutting into someone, if, if, if we have ears to hear today, I think Jesus is going to operate on us. But it's not to damage us. Again, it's to heal us.